Hello and welcome to JustCompareCars.com. My name is James and today I'm going to be doing a walk around video of this 2018 68 plate Ford Ranger. It's a 3.2 TDCI 200 Wildtrak, manual gearbox, it's done just 54,000 miles and it's got full service history with three stamps in the book. Okay, so we've been doing these walk around videos for quite a while now and we find them to be very popular, mainly because it means you get to view the vehicle from the safety and comfort of your own home, but as if you were here with me in person. As I walk around the vehicle with you today, we'll look at all the panels individually, looking for any marks, scratches or dents. We'll look at the wheels and tyres, looking at tread depths under the arches. Uh, we'll look at the side steps, then we'll have a look in the back, looking at the roller shutter too. When we've done that, we're going to have a look inside the cab, looking at the seats and the functionality. I'll even tell you what it smells like inside. Uh, when we've done that, we're going to pop the bonnet and have a look at the engine bay. And finally, we'll have a look underneath at the underside of the engine, the chassis and of course the spare wheel. Now, once you've watched your video, if you're happy with what you see and you want to buy it, a small deposit will secure it and we can pretty much deliver it anywhere in the world. If you're looking to finance a vehicle, we can go through an application with you which takes about five minutes and we can usually get you a decision within around an hour for a personal lend. Business lends do take a little bit longer and we will ask you for a deposit to cover the VAT in most cases. Um, we can look to get around that, but that will depend on you and your personal circumstances or your business circumstances. Give us a shout and give us an ask about that and we can look at it for you. It's also worth mentioning that while you're watching the video, if you think I've missed something or if you'd like to see something in a little bit more detail, please just ask. Um, if I do miss something, it's not purposeful. Um, I'd rather show you absolutely everything on the vehicle while you're here. Oh, well, while you're, while you're at home, <laughs> comfortable, I suppose, watching the video rather than here and potentially have a wasted journey. We work on complete transparency here at JustCompareCars.com, so we want to show you absolutely everything on the vehicle as if you were here in person. Right, so let's start with the bonnet and then we can work our way around from there. Obviously, first thing to notice is um, whoever's had this has spent a little bit of extra money and had the uh, American-style Ford grille and also the bib. I really like these bibs. The reason being is... Obviously, in the UK, a lot of stones on the road and whatever else. These just avoid stone chips. They're really good for that. So if that's been on there from new, that's great news because obviously it means there won't be any nasty marks or dance or stone chips on the bonnet. So that's obviously great news. Right, so the bonnet, hopefully you can see um, from the image, it's really very nice and clean. Let me just move that camera across a little bit. I've got that in the picture a little bit. Is that better? Just a spot more. One second, sorry. So it's gone now but yeah so it's in nice clean condition um i can't see any nasty marks or dints and hopefully you will agree with that so it looks like the bib's done its job to be fair now oh, there is a tiny little stone chip just there but that's the only one i can see so um driver's side headlights nice and clean it's free from any damage or cracks no misting, etc. And the front bumper and grille, as you can see, are in nice, clean condition. Um, and it has got front parking sensors. Now, I don't know if you noticed when I stood a bit further away, there is a couple of holes here, just in that front balance. I will guess that it's had a bull bar on it at some point. Um, I don't know if they're actually legal or not. So it's obviously been removed for whatever reason. Obviously it's not on there now. Right, so passenger side front wing is in nice, clean condition. Hopefully you can see from that there's no nasty marks or dints. A little bit of polish on it. Um, passenger side front wheel and tyre wheel's in good condition. There's a little bit of lifting on the wheel. It's just normal with a laser edged uh, wheel. Continental tyre. Um, I'd guess there's about 9mm there. And under the arch is nice and tidy and there's obviously no signs of any existing damage or pre-dint damage. Windscreen's in nice clean condition. I can't see any stone chips. Passenger mirror back's nice and clean. There's no damage. And the mirror's intact. Over the uh, pillars. And as you can see, no dents or marks. Everything's nice and clean. It's got the Hecky style wind deflectors, which are really good. And passenger side of the roof is also very nice and clean with no damage now before i go down the passenger side i always like to have a look at this view the reason being is when you look at this view you can see straight away there's no misalignment of gaps and also there's no mismatch of colors on the paint so obviously it's not had a dam any damage and it's not been painted just notice this was open so i'm just going to shut that 
we can look at that when we get to it. Right, so let's go down the passenger side. Nice view to look at is this way. Obviously, if you look down this view, you can see straight away uh, there's no dents or marks on the panels. Really very nice and clean. Side steps are in good clean condition as well. And again, from this side, again, there's nothing that's sticking out as being in wrong. And nothing, nothing sticking out at all. There's a little tiny dent just there. I mean, it is properly tiny. I don't, it's not going to show up. It's there. can't see anything else there's a very tiny little scratch there can't feel that on my fingers it looks like a hair right so passenger rear quarter and again I can't see any marks or dents everything looks really very nice and clean it's all good right so passenger rear wheel and tyre wheels in good condition it's a matching continental tyre I'd guess it's about four or five mil a tread and under the arch is nice and tidy. Passenger rear light is nice and clear, no damage, no uh, cracks, no misting, everything looks good. Rear bumper, you'll notice it's got the parking sensors, so it's got front and rear parking sensors, and the bumpers are in nice clean condition. It's got a tow bar which looks basically brand new, and it's got the later style electrics for LED lights. Yeah, I don't think that's been used. Tailgate is in nice clean condition. I can't see any marks or damage. Everything looks really nice and clean. Right, so obviously it's got a mountain top roll and lock. Arguably one of the best you can get and certainly one of the most expensive you can get. Uh, when new, there are a couple of grand plus the VAT fitted. Plus, sorry, no, they're not. They're a couple of grand plus VAT plus fitting. So, yeah, I mean, obviously nothing's uh, impregnable in regards to putting them on the back of a vehicle. If someone really wants to get in, they're getting it. But these are about as good as you can get uh, for security-wise because they are quite sturdy. Um, to open it, you can either press the button in, or I quite like the fact that well, you don't need to do that. Once you've opened the back and you've not got your key, you can just give it a little tug. And that will open. And as you can see, it works perfectly. In the back, it's really nice and clean. It's clearly not had a hard life. Um, when you start slinging bricks and stuff in these, they do burr up and obviously the colour goes out quite quickly. And I think you'll agree, it's in really very nice clean condition. Throughout. All right, let's pull it up. Just pull this back. And that locks into place again, no problems at all. So, driver's side tail lights, nice and clean, free from damage, no cracks, no misting, everything looks good. Rear quarter. Again, it looks really nice and clean. I can't see any marks or damage. And certainly no dents. There is a very fine scratch just there. Not bad, but it is there. And I can't quite feel it on my finger, so that's good. Driver's side of the roof is nice and clean. There's no damage or dents. And the pillars are again in great condition. It's like it's just gone very dark. I hope it's not going to rain. Um, so driver's side, again, no misalignment gaps, no mismatch of paint. Everything looks spot on. Let's go down the driver's side. And everything looks really nice and clean. I can't see any dents or marks. Let's have a couple of passes, make sure we're not missing anything. Now there is a very small dent just there and I don't think it's going to show up because it is, it's tiny. You can just see it there, look, you see? It's not big, but it is there. And there are a couple of very fine, and again, they're not going to show up. Tiny little scratch there. Um, can't see anything else, but you never know. Let's have a good look. Um, passenger side, oh, sorry, driver side front wing. And again, it's in lovely condition. There is a little mark just there, look. Just missed that. Tiny, but it is there. 
Uh, driver's side front wheel and tyre, wheel's in good condition, it's a matching continental tyre. Um, I'd guess it's probably about five or six mil, something like that. So yeah, it's a full set of continentals all round and they've all got plenty of tread. Did I do this one? I can't remember. So, driver's side rear wheel and tyre, continental tyre. Again, same tread. And under the arch is nice and tidy. Right, so, onto the interior. My mum says I'd forget my head if it weren't screwed on. She's probably right, to be fair. Uh, so, driver's side door cards in nice, clean condition. Um, I can't see any marks or damage. Everything looks nice and clean. On the armrest, you've got your electric windows times four, your window lock. And then up above, you've got your central locking. Um, it's got the wild trap mats all around. And all the carpets are in nice, clean condition. Driver's seat, bolsters are nice and firm. Material, as you can see, is really nice and clean. Unfortunately, there's a little tiny crack in the plastic there. I do see this quite a lot. Um, I mean, you could just glue that, to be honest with you, and you'd never see it. Um, fully electric seat. And it works as it would new. Yeah, it's very smooth. Nice, clean operation. Let me jump in. Passenger seat. Um, to be honest, bolsters feel that like brand new and other materials looks clean. Obviously, this is one of those things where one of these trucks, you'll find lots of company directors will buy them and use them as a car and maybe wouldn't have a passenger in them. But yeah, the bolsters feel like brand new. Uh, again, carpets all round, wild track carpets and mats. Everything looks good. All right, let's give it a start. Manual gearbox in these, you do need to drop the clutch. Pre-eat it and give it a twist and it starts straight away, no issues. Let's turn that off. Right, so dashboard, there's no warning lights other than the fact that the fuel's low, handbrake's on and I'm not wearing my seatbelt if that does pop up. Uh, but other than that, no warning lights on the dashboard at all. Nice and clean, nice clear screen as well. Uh, dashboard, switch this off, it's a bit too warm for that. Um, dashboard's nice and clean, it's free from any marks or damage everything looks good steering wheels in nice clean condition as well there's no unwanted marks there's no fading there's no stitching out of place everything looks nice and clean steering wheel controls basically this bit here controls that bit there and you've got a few multitude of different options presumably you know this anyway if you do want to see anything different give me a shout i'll happy to show you any of these but just obviously to show you that they work you've got lots of different options and they all change around no problem at all um, the lower part is your cruise control. Uh, being picky, I would guess someone's sat there with a the thumb on it and it's just faded slightly on the on the buttons. Left hand side is basically that's the same thing for that side screen. And again, you can just alter it around as you wish. Um, I like to have navigation on there on my phone so you can see that on there. Lower part is your uh, media center. So volume. <laughs> Tune. Nice and clear, no distortion on the speakers, so that's good. Um, obviously the media centre, really good size screen. I think it's the best one you can get in a truck at the moment. Reason being is it's a capacitive screen, which means that it works the same way as your phone. So if you've got an iPhone, for instance, you know, you can just move it around. You can zoom in, zoom out, and it works in the same way. Really very slick and it works perfectly. Um, audio wise, click on sources, you can see you've got AM, FM, DAB, you've got CT, and also you can have Bluetooth audio as well. Uh, Pre-populated DAB, of course. Um, climate control, so we'll give that a go. Um, let's put it on minimum, or low. Air comes on. Well, I can tell you the air conditioning works straight away. It's got that bite to it. Nice and cold. Yeah, that works fine. It's freezing. Um, obviously, you've got your Bluetooth for your phone. You've got your mobile applications when you plug your phone in. So, obviously, you've got Bluetooth. Um, you've got Wi Fi, Apple and Android CarPlay, and ambient lighting. So, lots of different options on there. And as you can see, everything works perfectly. Six speed manual gearbox. 
We've got stop start on this one, stability control, parking sensors, hill descent, and also switchable four wheel drive as well. Down below, you've got your USB, so you obviously can get your connectivity through your phone for your Apple CarPlay or your Android CarPlay, whatever you want. Everything works as you'd expect. Roof lining is nice and clean. It's free from any damage. There's no nasty marks. There's no nasty smells either. Um, it doesn't really smell of anything. All I can really smell it in the background is like a cleaning products or something like that. Um, it certainly doesn't smell of smoke. Uh, but yeah, everything works excellently. Uh, right, so switch that off. Uh, down by your right knees where your lights are. Some people always ask me, don't you? how do you put the lights up and down? You see that centre bit there? Push it in and then you can move it up and down. But yeah, all your other clock lights, like get my words out, all your other clock illuminations, etc., uh, fog lights are all on there. I tell you what, let's just show you this. Um, electric folding mirrors. And they work perfectly. Electric windows all work. Here, let's pop the bonnet, show you where that is. It's literally just there. Driver's side rear. Again, nice and clean. Everything looks good. Electric windows in the back, obviously. And again, bolsters in the back. They just feel like brand new. It's hard to explain, but if you come when you come look at it, come feel that. It, it's honestly it's brand spanking new. No one's ever sat on that. In the back, cup holders, armrest. You pull this tab here behind there you've got your tool roll and your jack and if you want to you can lift this up and tucked away in here is a little clip and you can clip that onto there so you can have that up like that if you wish and then you've got storage in there if you don't need the back seats obviously keeps them in good condition um, all the mats in the back are clean carpets in nice clean condition as well worth mentioning we do specialize in pickup trucks uh, new ones always arrive in vans commercial vehicles etc websites just compare cars.com they've all got videos the same as this so if you're looking for others give us a shout uh, passenger side door cards in nice clean condition there's no damage electric windows and again just to confirm the seat you can see again it's brand new um, i don't think anyone's ever sat in that carpets and mats all in great condition in the back being picky there's a couple of little marks just on that door there maybe they've carried something in it uh, and unfortunately this speaker grill is broken as well again it's probably just had something carried in it but other than that nice and clean let's have a look under the bonnet bonus of Ford Ranger bonnets once you've opened it you don't have to mess about because it's on pneumatics so it just opens itself oops just put that back out of it Obviously, it's got full service history. It's all up to date. Three stamps in the book. Um, you can see that it's been cared for and maintained really well. So, turbo unit is there. You can see there's no signs of any oily residue around the turbo unit. Um, the fluids are clean into the correct levels. Genuine. Oh, is it Ford? No, it's not. No, it is not. It's a Varta battery. I don't think it's a Ford one, but still a good quality battery. But again, you can see around the engine bay, there's no signs of any historic oil leaks. And other thing to notice as well, you can see that there's plenty of dust, if you like, or, or stuff on the engine. So you can see there's even a spider look. We don't wash them. This is just as it's come. So it's really very clean. You can see there's no signs of any oily residue around the engine block, hopefully. From that, it's in great condition. Right, so let's have a look underneath. Oops, having a moment. Again, you can see under the engine, no signs of any historic oil leaks. Chassis is in great condition, as is the exhaust. Rear diff's nice and dry and clean. You can see there's no oily residue around it. And at the back, the same. Spare wheel is an alloy, I think. And a 
can't see the tyre. I can't get to it. Let's have a look. Um, I'd guess it's about three mil. Okie dokie. So hopefully I've shown you everything that you would need to see if you were here today with me in person. Probably a little bit more, but I'd rather show you too much than not enough at the end of the day. Um, like I said to you before, you know, if you think I've missed something or if you want to see something in a bit more detail, just give me a shout. There's absolutely nothing to hide. We'd rather show you absolutely everything while you're sat at home and comfortable so you can know you can make an informed decision from home. Um, I have driven this vehicle myself. Um, I always drive them just before, just go up and down the road. Uh, it drives really nice. It pulls well in all the gears. Gear changes is nice and smooth as well, and the clutch feels right. Um, I can't say any more than that. Obviously, we're all different in regards to what we want when we're driving them. Um, but if you want to book a test drive, give us a shout. Come and have a look at it, see what you think, and go from there. Um, it's also, if you look on our Facebook page, you'll find more pictures of this that you won't find anywhere else. Um, give us a like and a thumbs up. We'd appreciate it. Uh, follow, whatever you call it. Uh, for the moment, thanks for watching and sticking with me. I really appreciate it. Take care, stay safe, look after yourself. Bye-bye.